Hello, brothers and sisters of the Briar. It's Horatio PPD Piper here. And I just wanted to kind of uh, jump on today this morning and just kind of give it a little quick chit chat as to uh, my adventures yesterday. Um, and I say adventures because uh, if anybody who's in Southern New England or in New England knows, we had interesting weather yesterday. Um, so we had a pretty big high wind and uh, rain throughout most of the day. Uh, excuse me, sorry, gotta take care of something real quick. Mm. Sorry about that. Um, oh, quick housekeeping. Uh, been bellied Morta with um, GLP's Quiet Nights. Um, and uh, with that, I'm pairing off this morning uh, with a little Bengal spice tea. Um, sorry, this, yeah, excuse me. Mm. Bengal spice tea and Quiet Nights are kind of like my favorite thing right now. Um, I like how we have an oriental um, flavor coming out of the aroma of the tobacco and how it dances on the tongue and then how the tea interacts with that because it's a chai tea so it um, has a lot of oriental spices as well and it's sweet um, and it'll go good with my outer fritter which I have over here as well um, <laughs> with that being said um, my good friend Jacqueline decided we decided to go to Wilkie Tobacco weeks ago and not knowing that it was going to be a craptastic day as far as rain and such is concerned and weather but you know we put our best foot forward and stiff upper lip and all that and we we went going and we we, we were dedicated we were going to go um, I had ordered from Wilkie Tobacco before um, and she has tried um, a lot of the blends. Well, she's tried probably every single blend that I've ever gotten myself. Um, she's a bit of a mooch that way, but I love her dearly. <laughs> Don't get me wrong; she buys her own stuff too, but she gets she likes to try the stuff through me, um, which is fine. You know, um, that's how we're, that's what we're here for. You know, to to, to share. So um, we get over there and. She drove, um, her car's a little bit better than mine uh, because my windshield wipers went on Friday. Um, so I had to go get new wipers today. Um, but yesterday we took her, her car. And um, we get to Fall River, Massachusetts, which is probably about a half hour away. Let it go out again. Um, which is about a half hour away. Um, met the proprietor over there named John. Really nice guy, and I'll get back to him as to why he's a really nice guy in just a moment. Um, made our purchases, uh, not realized that we had to pay cash and had to go to ATM to pay the fee there for the cash, but next time, lesson learned. We get to, um, we drive home uh, back to Rhode Island, and um, we decided to stop off at the liquor store to pick up some uh, Michter's bourbon. Um, because we like to drink Michter's here. And uh, we go to realize that Jacqueline doesn't have her wallet. Her wallet, she's searching throughout the car, we're looking for it, can't find it. She had used the restroom um, at the Firehouse Tobacco Shop, uh, Wilkie Tobacco. Um, and she thought that she may have dropped it there uh, in, in the bathroom. So we call, um, we call the shop, no answer, had to leave a message, um, but that's okay. And he did call back and he, to our great you know, comfort and, and, and relief, um, they had the wallet. So <laughs> long story short, um, we had to drive back to Fall River um, to beat the weather and to get back um, to Rhode Island in time. Uh, <laughs> but we made it. Great, you know, great success. And added benefit, you know, turning uh, le you know, lemons into lemonade, we got Portuguese food out of it um, in Fall River. Portuguese food, if you haven't had it, is amazing and everyone should try it. It's the best. Um, yeah, it's, but I've gotten back, I've tried a couple of the tobaccos there. Um, oh, quick house speaking on that too, uh, Spartaco Shaman. It does have, um, custom black micarta scales 
and a blue titanium deep carry pocket clip. Um, the reason I have that is because I do have, like I said, um, an apple fritter that I'm gonna eat now, because I'm hungry. Do you guys do this? Do you guys eat and smoke at the same time? I don't know. I kind of enjoy it on Sunday mornings. Uh, it's the only time I ever have a donut or anything like sugary or pastry like this is, um, is on Sunday mornings. Because I usually, and it's usually like every other Sunday when I go to the market. I'll go to the market and then I'll stop over at the Glazing Days over here. Um, they make fresh donuts themselves there. I don't like going to the big chains. You know, uh, I don't do Dunkin' Donuts or anything like that. Um, support your locals. Support, you know, your community. Um, you know, those people have families and stuff, you know, and that they need to kind of take care of. But that's another story. Anyways, um, <laughs> as far as today's concerned, I mean, yeah, went to the market. That was interesting. Um, grabbed my pastry. And now I am, um, excuse me. Now I'm going to um, watch some Penny Arcade C-Team. Um, for my fellow nerds out there that know what Petty Arcade is, you know what I'm getting myself into. Those that don't, um, Penny Arcade is a um, internet show where um, this group of friends play tabletop role-playing games. Um, this time around, they are playing um, Tales from the Loop which is sort of like a um, kids in danger, like 1980s kids in danger, you know, kids in peril, like Goonies, very much style, um, type of, of kind of mechanics involved. Um, role playing game. And um, these guys are amazing. Um, smart, witty, quick, very quick. Like it's, it's almost a masterclass in storytelling, like off the cuff of how they can create these characters on the fly and just proceed and have like a season's worth of, you know, of, of, of new material and stuff. It's just good stuff. Excuse me again. Sorry about that. But anyways, um, I'm going to get into some of that. Uh, the new episode came out uh, this week, so I am going to smoke my pipe eat my apple fritter and um, drink my tea and enjoy two hours, two and a half hours of relaxation. Um, you know, that's, this is how, these how, this is how nerds re relax. We watch RPG and Dungeons and Dragons internet shows or um, people playing in video games. Um, you know, some of you may not understand. Um, a lot of people I know don't understand. I'm like, oh, you're 43 years old. You're, you're a grown man. Why are you still watching these things? It's because I can. You know, uh, nothing in the books say that just because you grow up means you have to actually grow up. Um, it's what brings you joy, you know. Um, and this stuff brings me joy. You know? You get older, the toys get better, but you know, they're just more expensive, that's all. But anyways, I'm gonna get back to this um, and get into um, a new episode of uh, Acquisitions Incorporated, the C-Team, Tales from the Loop. Um, I hope everyone's doing well. Hope you're safe, you're happy, you're healthy. Um, please be kind to one another. And um, in the immortal words of Dr. Claw, I'll catch you next time, Gadget. Next time. Take later. Peace.